Hello everyone and welcome back to our gym challenge number 20 here for our premier challenge here at Pico Rivera, California. My name is Jesus Cornell. Joining me alongside now is Richard Salazar and we have made it to top four, Richard, and uh, we have an interesting pair of four for our finalists here. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, local hero Anthony Placencia and Junchi, who I think is about to qualify for world. No, no I, I think maybe not. Last we checked, if he actually ends up getting the revenge arc and getting the win on this premier challenge, he'll end up at 499 points, which would suck. Ugh, but he's so close. Yeah, anyway, uh, we're gonna have our trainers here between Anthony Placencia and Zhongxi Shu. Anthony with the Roaring Moon, Ogre Bomb Wellspring, Fluttermane, Raging Bolt, Amoongus, and Incineroar. And Zhongxi Shu, we've already seen Amoongus, Urshifu Single Strike, I mean Rapid Strike, uh, Porygon 2, Landers Incarnate, and Incineroar, and Goldango. And Goldango. Oh, but that was a Porygon 2 in there, so let's see. How are our matchups? What. What does it look? What does it look like? Who's gonna benefit from what? Well, we seen earlier from Zhang Jixina, his team loves to play the slow grind game because, you know, his team has a defensive aspect where it's like where you could find yourself spamming us intimidate, spamming us recovers, those polymer plus, you know, get yourself into a position where your opponent is doing minimal damage while you can retaliate back. Interesting. And then when you look at it from Anthony's side, you know, he has the damage output to get it done. You know, he has the roaring moon and the Raging Bolt to get the damage out when he needs it with the booster energy plus acrobatics combination that a lot of them love to run with each other. And it's just a matter of whether or not Zhongxi can negate the damage up with that Anthony just has in his potential. And here we see Porygon 2 Incineroar and Anthony to lead out Incineroar and Raging Bolt. Interesting. So we got a double Intimidate drop, which is kind of really irrelevant. Well, actually, especially on Incineroar. Well, mostly on Incineroar. So it's pretty much just a battle of the fake out, right? Who's going to be the faster one or is, is one of these guys going to withdraw? Yeah, it was just one of those battles. It's like, which Incineroar is faster? What do they do with their Incineroar? Do you, like, do you go for the fake out? Do you go for the knockoff? Do you go for a parting shot? Because Flare Blitz right now is not safe onto anything other like maybe Porygon 2. Mm -hmm. And Porygon 2 looks really set to set a Trick Room. Yeah, definitely. Or unless it goes for the Ice Beam and tries to get rid of the Raging Bolt right away. But we don't know. We'll see what happens. But I'm just. Like... I mean, I would assume that Ice Beam would not do enough damage towards the Porygon 2 because, first of all, it's not, it's not stabbed. So it's like, it's not going to get the. Big boost that yeah, you would normally expect to see from, you know, a download boost, which unfortunately download is yeah, an attack boost instead of special attack. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, and that just means that you're doing normal damage with this Porygon 2, which is fine, but it's not really screaming so much damage. I and mean, we do get to and see that Zhongxi's uh, fake has faster. Yes, and now that his Incineroar is going to, I think, what was it going to do? What was, I didn't even see, was it going to do a taunt? No, I mean, parting shot? Or was it going to do a fake out? Well, we see the Snarl come out from the Raging Bolt, and... And there goes the Trick Room, just like you said there there would be doing. Yeah, now the Trick Room's up into play. We do see the Raging Bolt go for the Snarl onto both Porygon 2 and Incineroar, so Porygon 2 is again going to get limited damage output, and Incineroar... Uh, important to note, did not go for Fake Out on the turn, as you mentioned. It mm -hmm. probably was literally going for the Farting Shot onto something like that Porygon 2, you know, to limit its damage output, and now we're going to see Porygon 2 switch up because of it. Hmm... Wait, what? Yes. Sure. Among Us the Recluse. Oh my god, they really went on a good shiny hunt for that one. That's a very rare Among Us. Yeah, and now we see the parking shot come off into this Among Us, so... At the very least, I mean, Among Us might not be doing so much damage with the Pollen Puff, but at the very moment right now, Anthony has a good shot to switch into something that he really needs to get into position with. Among Us and Ogre Pond, great tool to deal with, with Among Us. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, he's as long as he doesn't, as long as he doesn't Terra, you know? Because he... Oh, okay. Was that a fake? No, knock off. Knock off. Okay, perfect. Doesn't do anything to Ogre Pawn. He gets to keep the. She gets to keep the Wolf Spring Mask. And now we just see. What happens next? They're both faster. I mean, Amoongus can try to spore. I think it's gonna with. I think it's gonna withdraw at this point because it can't spore. I mean, can... oh. it's just gonna. It's just gonna redirect. I mean, you can spore the Raging Bolt. I mean, you actually could probably go for the Raging Bolt. Yes, you can follow me to get it away. I'm more worried about like what in center like, This looks like a pretty free party shot into the Ogre Pond because, uh, yes, it's not doing super effective damage. Into, uh, it's not doing much damage to Among Us, but limiting Ogre Pond's damage output is especially good with IV Coach because IV Coach is hitting a lot of Junji's team for super effective or neutral. And ooh, I, I'm interested to see why this Among Us swapped out. And this is going to be Goldango. So Goldango. We, so we know all of Junji's team now. And this, I'm not sure what this is trying to call it now. And Anthony's switching out of the Raging Bolt. Yeah, I mean, I would have. I mean, all they could do is double at that point both of them all they could have done is uh double into the what you want to call it incineroar but Ooh. okay double oh my gosh double double withdraw here so then he's gonna switch into i'm assuming either porygon 2 or he's gonna reveal his 
I oh, know we're getting on his whole team, huh? Yeah, it's, it's just a uh, um, Amunga's on a Porygon 2 in the back that I can only swap out into. I believe, okay, yeah, Amunga's going to be here. So we are going to reset the uh, HP value next to the regenerator. And you're still in a pretty bad position. Yeah, you, yeah there you go. You got to take the IV cudgel. It is at neutral. Ugh. And yeah. Neutral? It, yeah, it's at neutral because it wasn't taking it, it didn't take an intimidate from earlier. Right, 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 right. I'm just like, wait, doesn't that mean if it's not very, it's still like very effective, but. Yeah, yeah, it's an unusual attack, so yeah, of, of course it wasn't going to be very effective to the grass type of Moongus, but it got the damage output that it got guaranteed, but Jungshi, it looks pretty, this looks like a really free turn to go for a nasty pot. Mm -hmm. It, wait, he has nasty pot? You know, I should read these team sheets. You know, that's my problem, that's probably why Ooh, I didn't succeed in most okay. of my battles. Incineroar coming in here in place of the Amoongus for Jungji, and I believe it's Incineroar, yes it is, holding safety goggles, so it is immune to Spore, and that's what Jungji tried to do. Eek, what a... What a good read on Anthony's part, but at least you know the Goldengo setting up, and it's mm, God it can't do it can't do a Shadow Ball, it can't do a, a make it rain though because then they're gonna ah he's not very effective against it. I think all he can do is either try to withdraw it or I don't know Shadow Ball is neutral to Ogre Pond, so it is gonna be doing damage towards it, but not, you, is it worth it? Not with this Trick Room up in play, because yeah. Trick Room's still up for another turn. Zonji did take half damage from that Ivy Coach, if you didn't know this earlier. So that Ivy Coach at least is at knockout threat range for Zonji, and that just gives Anthony a good chance to, you know, maybe cook another Ivy Cudgel if you are confident enough to say, okay, Goldengo, you're probably either going to be protecting or you're going to get it knocked out because mm -hmm. you because you don't have a Terra... Oh, yeah, Terra Dragon. Never, never mind. That's probably... Oh, actually, oh, Terra Dragon. Go. We got our first Terra. Yeah, maybe Terra Dragon from the Goldengo to resist the hit, and it, oh, it is going to be... He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He has to... But then all I can think of then at this point, he has to be going for the Shadow Ball into Ogre Pond. He can't... I mean, I don't... Is is a Make It Ring going to do anything to... Ooh! Oh. Big Pollen Puff okay. coming out here from Zhangji. Very. Like, he gets... Ma almost to the max heal. Oh, what goes up for the flare blitz? Oh, that doesn't matter. Ah! Uh, oh no, what's gonna happen? Well, let's find out what's gonna be happening here. Another nasty oh one! Oh my god, he's quick for the nasty plot! That's plus three. That's plus four now for this Golding on the special attack spectrum. And it was a perfect double up into this Golding oh. with fire and water types. But Unfortunately, now resisted by the dragon type, but Trick Room's over. Trick Room's over, Golden goes faster, and he's gonna about, he's about to do some major damage to something here. But what? If he even can, because even with plus four, again, the only thing he can really take out is Ogre Pond, right? He can't do anything to Incineroar. So, what can that, how dangerous is this Goldango right now with a couple, with a couple of resistance? I mean, it also depends on how much, if, if he really goes for it to make it rain, probably not going to get a double knockout on either Pokemon, but no. it will put them in severe range of, you know, maybe a Pollen Puff picking up a knockout on the Ogre Pond, funny enough. Yeah. I think there's everything in a rage. Oh, Ooh. no. Now we see Amunga switching out here. Is this going to be Incineroar coming in here? It is going to be Incineroar. It's going to be Incineroar to do the... Intimidate. Ah, uh, Intimidate. So this next golden... I mean, Amun what is it called? Ogre Pond's next attack? Both of them. Can he... Can this uh, golden go through? Oh. What's going on? So Spiky Shield coming in here for this Ogre Pond to make sure it doesn't get hit by that Shadow Ball. Because oh, Dingo also protecting. Oh, my gosh. I, I mean, it's not a bad protect to go for, especially oh, oh where it's into the Amoongus slot, so it is going to be a minus one now, and then the resistance. That did nothing. Yeah, that made basically nothing. But I think Zhangji protected their Goldengo because you wanted to go for the knockoff to make sure you mm -hmm. remove that metal coat that is boosting the damage output out of that make it rain. Mm -hmm. And that would actually just give Zhangji a little bit of a lesser damage roll at that point. And I, right now, your Zhangji, I still think Shadow Ball is your best move. Yeah, it, to Ogre Pond, gotta get rid of that. You gotta do something. You already have you already have invested so many uh, nasty plots into that thing, so you gotta do something. And if, if he's gonna switch out into Amoongus, and he, I mean, either way, even if he doesn't, even if he does make it rain or gold, Shadow Ball into the Amoongus slot, it's gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, and also you have make out for the Incineroar, so you can probably blank out the Incineroar for Anthony as it's still been on the field since uh, a couple turns earlier. That's true. Oh, oh no, fake out into Amoongus oh, actually. No. So that is going to be taking some Rocky Humble recoil damage, unfortunately. And here's oh, the Make here It Rain. Go. It should knock out the Amoongus. And it, oh, it knocked out the Incineroar! Wow. Oh, a critical hit! Critical hit into the Incineroar, unfortunately. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. Yeah, yeah. and now we know Anthony's last two Pokemon are that Raging Bolt and that Ogre Bonnie just switched out. And this he's just gone south quickly for Anthony because yeah. that Gold Angel just went ahead and went for Double Nasty Plot and... There was really nothing that uh, Anthony could have done to threaten it unless like he got the turn correct and he didn't get third he got consecutive turns incorrect. Yeah, and then the crit didn't help. Again, like that should not have knocked out 
Incineroar, but hey, now here we go. We, he has what Incineroar, and I mean, Junchi has Goldingo Incineroar on the field. He can do a make it rain, but is how much damage would that even do? All I can think of is either going to protect or maybe be a little greedy and get do the nasty plot again. Shadow Ball, I don't know. Shadow Ball is safe for the rest of the battle now, and yeah, I also agree with the fact that you switch out the Incineroar right now. You get the Intimidate for later, and now Amoongus comes in, so mm -hmm. you resist Ivy Cudgel, and you get that. And Raging Bolt probably isn't going to be doing enough damage to threaten the rest of the game. And uh, I believe this is Anthony's Overbug to go ahead and tear and get that body aspect than it is. Oh, there, yeah, that's going to... Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, now Shadow Ball can't really do much. It's going to hurt, but it's not going to really knock it out unless... No, he's not even doubling anything. So all I can think of here is he's going to Draco Meteor straight into that... Oh, oh I mean, no. I mean, if you were going to go with Dragon Meteor, that's probably the most obvious protect you could probably get from Alex yeah. Dungji and Ivy Cudgel was targeting the Goldango, oh. oddly enough. So now it just hinges on what this uh, Raging Bolt does with its attack here. It's just going to be another Snarl, which I don't think it's doing a whole lot of damage to a Moongus, so it gets in here for free. Yeah. Next, the so next up, what can... Ooh, what was he going to do now? He can't protect. Draco Meteor is not going... Ugh. I mean... I think this. I think Jinji's locked into a, a Shadow Ball. No, he's not locked into it, obviously, because he doesn't have any specs on. But I mean, a make it rain, and if especially if this Snarl lands, because it looks like Raging Bolt's faster. Is Raging Bolt faster? It looked to be faster than the Amoongus. It wasn't faster than the Gold Dango. I do not think. But Draco, right now Draco's probably one of the more riskier moves to go for. Mm -hmm. As we see the Ivy Cudgel go from Ogre Pond, it is targeting the Gold Dango. It is banking on a critical hit. It's uh, not gonna get the critical hit. In the, but, no, oh, no, Draco Meteor miss. not the Draco Meteor miss. Uh, miss the Amoongus, and now comes the plus three Shadow Ball from this Goldingo into this Assault Vest Raging Bolt. It was able to take it pretty decently, and but then now. Here comes yeah. The spore. yeah, there comes the Spore. Yeah, that's not going to do good. And then Amoongus is going to eat them, isn't going to do a Spore into the Ogre Pond next, and then it's going to be kind of game. We don't want that. Yeah, this Goldingo has just been sticking around for such a long time, and. I also forgot to mention as well, uh, Ogre Pond's no longer a grass type, so yes, you can spore the spore as he s spore the Ogre Pond as he said, but you can also redirect the Ivy Cudgels away if you really need to preserve that Goldengo. Oh, that's true, that's true, that's true. You could actually just protect right now, and yeah. oh, there goes the Rage Powder. Yeah. This, this Goldengo is perfectly safe and sound, and now we're going to see this Ivy Cudgel land onto this uh, Amoongus. I think Zhang Chi might have this game one wrapped up, and yeah. a bonk, and yeah, yeah, that's not doing enough damage. Nope. And then here comes another Shadow Ball, I'm assuming into Raging Bolt, because it's the easiest thing to take out. Yep, that was... yeah. Boom, and down it goes to that Shadow Ball, and Anthony's down to just an Ogre Pond with a plus one special defense boost, and uh, uh, all four of Junkie's team, actually, and yeah, we're going to take the forfeit. Yeah, there goes the forfeit. Well played by Anthony, and well, well both of them, GG's to... GG's to Anthony and Chi, but it's now going. We're, we're going on the game two in the semifinals, and let's see if he's going to change it up. You know, time to adapt. I mean, it was hard because Anthony, I mean, yes, it was that unfortunate crit from the Make It Rain from the Golden Girl on the Incineroar that really swung the battle mm -hmm. to Zhongxi's favor, but you have to point out something about Zhongxi's team. He didn't lose a single Pokemon that he battle. He did not. That was, a, that was a clean, clean sweep from. And throughout the time that Porygon 2 was able to set up the Trick Room from Zhongji, it was a lot of how were you able to capitalize off that Trick Room? Uh, uh, uh Anthony. Zhongji. Sorry, they were asking uh, who won. Yeah, sorry, production was just asking us who won. Uh, yeah, going back to the whole uh, Trick Room from Zhongji in game number one, he was able to take advantage of that like pretty quickly because uh, looking at Anthony's scene, you know, he had to redirect to adapt to the Trick Room. But by that point, the gold angle just got out of hand with his double nasty plots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can never ever let anything like that go unchecked. That was a brilliant move, you know. After the nest, after the second nasty plot, to pollen puff into it and just, you know, LOL here, you're gonna be around a little longer. Oof, that was a little brutal. Yeah, like, that Amoongus is just like one of Zhongxi's favorite things to do with this team because, as I said, his team is more on the defensive side of things where it's like he loves to go for those defensive pivots where it's like, I'm going to stall you out for as long as I can to get into my positioning where I can set up those nasty plots, I can set up my landers potentially or my Earth Single Strike. 
I mean, rapid strike. How am I messing this up? I, I, I'm just it's, it's a long day. Yeah, you know, it, it's been a long day, a long ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna see double incinerator, but we see a couple switch ups here. Oh my goodness! I think this switch is not gonna be oh, favorable for Anthony. Not at all. He, he, I'm, I'm assuming he wasn't gonna try to take the clue of a tailwind, but now he has tailwind, right? No, he doesn't. No, he does not. not. And okay. what happens with these intimidates is that each, each time we'll drop the attack on everything important, important from Porygon. Oh, well, Porygon's gonna get the attack back, but more importantly, this booster energy. Was going to be for the attack booster, but because of the intimidate, it becomes oh, still attack. It's still attack, but so I'm what I'm thinking is going to happen is oh, he's going to oh, very smart this time around. He knows that I'm uh, I'm, I mean, unless what's his face, Oregon 2 does an ice beam, which he does, right? He has it, he does cool. Okay, so he can't set up the trick room no more, which makes them a little faster. And let's see if Jin Chi was calling the Let's see if Jinji was calling that he was in the pocket. Yeah, I'm actually a lot more interested in this in this Roaring Moon now because I would have thought that the Intimidate would have dropped uh, Roaring Moon's attack to be lower than his speed, which would have proc boosted energy to proc the speed oh, booster. Oh, he withdraws the Porygon too. He absolutely called it. Oh, Amoongus comes Amoongus. in for that slot. Yeah, so what's going to happen? That's kind of a waste of a taunt. What's he going to do? Ooh, Dragon Dance comes oh, out. He didn't taunt, that's right. So, oh my gosh. So Dragon Dance is coming out from this... Uh, increase roaring attack, move. increase speed, and the party's not going to reset the attack again. Uh, it's like so he's pretty much at neutral. Or wait, what's what does uh, minus one and then the booster energy, and you got back to neutral with the dragon hands, and now you're minus one again thanks to the parting shot, and this likely probably signals Porygon to come back into this battle, which is going to be a little bit hard for Zhongzi to, I mean for Anthony to navigate because he, he Zhongzi has so much bulk on that team. Yeah, for real. I mean, stall team. Well, it's from from the, from the looks of it, or a semi stall, or is it a balance team? I don't know. It, it, it looks like more of a balance team. It's like stalling to get into position. As I said, it's like mm -hmm. he's not stalling for like stalling, stalling is like the stall purposes. So I think he's like stalling to get into a position where he can sweep. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, that makes sense. But it seems like yeah, Zhongzi's you know, really thinking about the switch. Really think about the switch in. Like, is, is he? I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna ask if he's scared, but it sounds like he feels might be back into a corner or something. Yeah, you do. I'm not sure Porygon 2 switching is going to be like the most optimal thing to do here. I mean, it is. Okay, yeah, it's just yeah. going to be Porygon 2 coming back in that slot. So, all, all the Porygon 2 did was just move places. Yeah. Download attack rises, but that doesn't really matter because it's a. Oh, Ooh. there's the taunt. And that just means that the Ogmungus cannot go for Spore or Rage Powder or Protect. Yeah. Meaning he's... it's stuck using Polypuff, which fortunately in this situation is super effective against the Roaring Moon. Yes, but oh my gosh, I, he's going to do Dragon Man, and I can, yeah, I can already see this. It's, we already know where to switch. You know, he's, he's going to have to withdraw Amoongus because Amoongus is kind of pretty useless right now. I mean, do you, do, you, do you think Polypuff and the Roaring Moon is useless? Yes. <laughs> a little bit. Damage is damage, I'll say, I'll say that much, but yeah, then isn't again... It, isn't it neutral? Like, isn't it neutral into the Roaring Moon? No, it's super effective, I think. It's a, the, the bug type is super effective to dark. Oh, but the Dragon isn't, isn't weak? No. Isn't, oh, okay. I'm still new at this guy. Ooh, Porygon 2 gonna oh. swap out for Zhongzi. This might be Incineroar coming back in for another Intimidate. No, no Goldango. For the Goldango. Once again, it's Goldango, and this likely is the only damage that like, Zhongzi is threatening. Oh, there Double Slitch. Go. I knew that thing was gonna go out. There is no way that was. Uh, and there goes. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew he was gonna switch out to re Intimidate, and then that's. He should. I don't know if he should have really done Dragon Dance, but. We'll see how this still plays out. Another Dragon Dance comes out from this Roaring Moon. He's trying his best to reset that attack that he really needs. You know, if this is Anthony's best form of, of offense, this might be the only thing he has available for him. Oh, parting oh, shot. No. Unfortunately, not going to work against Gold. Daniel, due to its ability, good as Gold. Oh, that's not good. I understood what Anthony wanted to do in that turn, though. You know, you know wanted to get the parting shot out, 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 out onto anything that really gave you a switch out, that could get you an incentive switching to keep that Dragon Dance going, get that attack reset that you need. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, don't she read that perfectly and went for the gold angles to make sure that the party shot wouldn't go off. Now Incineroar is kind of stuck. Yeah, that's um, it's not good for Incineroar. He's gonna have to. I don't know if the call is to switch it out. He's gonna have to do something like either attack it or. Oh, we got our first Terra. I think this is Zhongzi this again. Do you think it's Zhongzi again? Yeah, it's Zhongzi, and it's gonna be the gold angle to the steel Terra. Drag oh, Dragon, never mind. Dragon Terra. Oh, I, I haven't seen too many gold angles. Yeah, I haven't seen too many gold angles today. I don't know. Like, here's another Dragon Terra for this. Uh, Golden Go. We see the knockoff knock come off. off. Number one. The That's a crit. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, here we go. Now this could completely change the course of this game. You don't want to crit on one of your strongest attackers. That's exact. That was you know Golden Go. If you're just tuning in, absolutely cleared the last match. And now 
parting shot onto the soaring moon. Oh, it, it can't catch a break. He can't. It's just. But hey, you know what? I all, would... all, all it is is just a speedy dragon right now. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, he's faster. So at least he can just knock off whatever. And yeah, yeah, knock off's good utility right now. Yeah. Wait, what was Incineroar going to do? We didn't even get to see Incineroar attack. It's probably going to be a knockoff. No, I mean, Incineroar is still a thing in play right now. As uh, Zhongzhi sends out Porygon 2 once again, it's going to get that download for the attack. But I am wondering if this is finally going to be the parting shot that's going to be happening with oh, Incineroar. Oh, Flare Blitz. Blitz. Yeah, but, it's oh, really almost no damage. Just like intimidated like maybe two or three times. I forget. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to get uh, Anthony's going to. It would be very beneficial for him if he gets that Incineroar off the field so he can reset some damage. Yeah, but Zhongzhi now has the option to switch in either a Moongus or Incineroar, and this becomes like the Zhongzhi staple. It's like you don't have damage immediately, but the bulk piles on with the damage, especially because uh, Borygon 2 has recover, and you have mm -hmm. Intimidate again under this Incineroar uh, and Rory Moon. There it goes. Just, just another, he's gonna have to Dragon Dance or. See, minus three oh attack gosh. for that <laughs> Roaring Moon. That is not. That is crazy. It's like, I would just double swap. No, he hasn't. Anthony hasn't lost any Pokemon. No, he has not. He's still in a good position. He is, but uh, once he's again. He's in a decent position. Yeah, he's in a decent position. It's just like, well, Zhongxi's now looking to like stall the rest of the battle because one, your Terra is gone if you're Zhongxi. Yeah. Two, knockoff is really important against that Porygon suit. Knockoff the Eevee Light to get that mm -hmm. rid of the defensive boost that it has. Third of all, this Raging Bull. Oh, that, there's the double switch you were talking about. Yeah, it's, I, it, that's the only way. That he, he, it sucks that he did those Dragon Dances, but that's the only way he can really turn the table a little back in his favor. Not that it's already against him. Oh, and critical hit on the on fake, out. fake out. <laughs> and the oh Rocky Helmet damage also getting onto this Incineroar. And Porygon 2 sets up the Trick Room. Oh, Maybe that's not, right. That's, that's, I forgot about the Trick Room. Yeah, and Zhongxi does not have a city all of a sudden Incineroar. As we knew, it was Terra Poison and a Citrus Berry earlier on today. And that Incineroar not looking forward to being explored. That might have to be a Moongus switching in oh, soon. Oh, that's right there. He has the speed. He's oh, Moongus is speedy now, so it will be beneficial. If, is this... Does this Raging Bull have Protect? He does not. It was Assault Vest. It's Assault Vest. Oh no, we, he, it, would be it would be better for him if he Snarls. If he Snarls, then he can take some Ice Beam damage. Oh, the battle is canceled, unfortunately. Zhongxi just does, not, John... just, just does not find a way out of this, and uh, Andy is going to force a game free. Yep, that's, I totally respect that. Like, he was, he was very back, that it was, dude, that crit onto Goldango absolutely cost him the battle, I believe. Yeah, because at that point, I believe Zhongxi only forfeited because you don't have enough damage to get through the rest of the battle. Because you have to deal with Roaring Moon practically at full HP. You have an Incineroar mm -hmm. to deal with. You have Raging Bull with the Assault Vest, which Porygon 2 kind of has the difficulty touching. And then the Moongus was like really lacking damage. Yeah, it was. It was. I'm. I. I respect that. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm a. Um. I see the writing on the wall kind of person, and just move on. So let's see how he. They both readjust because. Yeah, I don't know. What happens? That Roaring Moon definitely was a little lucky with that uh, knockoff getting yeah. a critical hit. And I think if it weren't for that critical hit, I mean, yes, you do lose the Metal Coat, but I believe even then, I don't think Make It Real is threatening a knockout towards most of what uh, Anthony had in his team at the, at the very moment. Because uh, at that point, yeah, maybe it was Nasty Pot coming in here and just Jungji got crit at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I don't even, even with, it, oh, that's, you know what? I always keep forgetting that the, even the with the drops, the crit still goes through. Still does a lot of damage. And after all those dragon dances, I don't know if that works, but yeah. Well, but, the dragon dances, the dragon dances just make you faster. Oh, uh, okay. Does, um, what, which also goes to show, which also begs the question, how much bulk investment, how much bulk investment do we have into Goldengo that he survived 167? I mean, we're not going to get the exact numbers because uh, these aren't uh, level 50 numbers, unfortunately. Oh, but uh, right. We can make the assumption that it is pretty bulky, judging by the fact that it is a uh, Nasty Plot and uh, Terra Dragon, which means it's probably more trained to be bulky because uh, we either see those type of gold angles or we see the ones that are like Terra Steel and just aim for damage with choice packs. Mm -hmm. mm, that's true. Okay. Well, I don't know what just happened, but okay. Well, we are going to game number three, nonetheless. That's it, y'all. If, if you would know all the rest of these battles a lot of us went to game three today it's been even without the art even without the usual veterans here like this has been a very very fierce oh, oh my gosh 
Incineroar Landers for Zhongzi, and once again, it's Incineroar. It's been an Incineroar sweep every lead this, se this series so far, but it's been a different pairing between both these trainers. Anthony going for game three, Amoongus, and Zhongzi, we're finally seeing the Landers for the first time. He's going to have to swap out the Incineroar, because as far as I remember, I'm pr we, from from the last battle, um, Junchi's in, um, Incineroar was faster, right? He landed the fake yeah. out first. Oh, no, don't do this. I mean, Agni doesn't know right now, but like, if, if we're assuming from the judgmental standpoint, Landers uh, for Zhongzi does have Earth Power, so it does threaten a one hit knockout onto that Incineroar before it Terra's, but it's just like, there's a couple things here. Do you go, go for the Rage Powder? Do you switch out the Amoongus, interestingly mm -hmm. enough? So I think that this could be. Oh, Roaring Moon coming in here, so this will be activating a Protosynthesis Booster Energy for the attack stat, so. You don't have to worry about like the, re about the attack drops like last time. Well, no, good. but but you do have to worry about Earth Power if it goes to the Amoongus slot. Unless, oh. of course, the Incineroar Terrace. Oh, fake out into the Roaring Moon. Oh, good. That's a good and, one. Okay, so we trade fake outs. We trade fake outs. Kind of a little bit of a stalled turn one. But now I, I can definitely see she's going to withdraw the... Uh, he's going to definitely with... Or at least I... I mean, the Roaring Moon, sh I mean, depending on how does Roaring Moon train against his Landers, I believe Roaring Moon, I, I, I want to say it's faster than his Landers, but we see how bulky it is being trained, and it's just like, you now have the free reign to go for uh, knockoff or acrobatics, mm -hmm. or something like that Dragon Dance without that Intimidate from earlier, and that just gives you enough leverage to get the damage you want from the Roaring Moon, it's just like, does Zhongzi have a response to that damage? Yeah. Let's see what happens, because I believe we're about to see our first Terra for this battle with Anthony Terra-ing the... Yeah, no yeah. switch outs. There's no switch outs. And it is Anthony Terra. Terra. And I think he goes for the Dragon Dance, so now he's going to be faster. The only, And... There's the Terra flying. There it is, and so the Acrobatics is going to do a ton of damage if he... um Next turn. Actually, any of his attacks are going to do a ton. Oh, no! Oh, no, not the Earth Power! Oh, oh. no! And this roaring moon, and, and now, now it's a flying type, and that means, a, yeah, and that, that means he's faster too now. Ah, yeah, now there's a the big dragon is in this roaring moon. And Sarah does get the flying oh, shot at least. Uh, that. So the attack boost is reset, but it's still a formidable, uh, formidable thing to look out for. But now Atlander has got a wasted turn thanks to that earth power now hitting a flying type roaring moon. Mm -hmm. Jungji does get the party shot off now, gets to reset the attack, potentially get an attack drop later. Mm -hmm. What does Jungji have in the back? Because uh, this looks we already had oh, comes Amungus. Again. Here comes Amungus. And okay, now it's just gonna say what does the Cinderor does for Anthony here in this situation? This party shot and oh, I would have no, loved to no, see. No, not in. Yeah, I would have. I would have. Wait, this. I would have. I, I would have loved to see that on Landers, although it was a protect option. But at the very least, you get the switch out. Yeah, I, w I actually would have. I would have. I thought it was gonna go for a knockoff onto what's it called Landers to so get rid of that. Uh, oh, it's a citrus berry Landers. I thought it was a. Which I'm gonna call. Oops. Wait. Oh, thank God, I'm pretty. All right. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. A, it is definitely a life orb, Landorus. So now. Anthony's in once again in another weird spot because, uh, well, if Landorus is gonna do damage to the Roaring Moon, it's gotta be from Sludge Bomb. Now, mm -hmm. you got you want to go for the other Dragon Dance anticipating the Incineroar swap to get the attack reset? Do you want to go for the Greed or do you just want to say, hey, look, your Amoongus is in threat range. You're not gonna tear in front of me. I mean, yes, your Water Terra, but. Acrobatics is still going to do a lot of damage with my booster energy boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... Uh, what are we going to do? What are we doing? Oh, he's going to go it's, for it's the just protect? Like, he's gonna I mean, Among Us... I mean, Among Us can also spore into the into the Roaring Moon should he be able to survive an Acrobatics. <laughs> it's true. And now here, he can't spore nothing because uh, Anthony protected. And then, what's this? Incineroar has safety goggles. So, yeah, right? No, it, no, yes. There it is. Thank you. Oh, Zhongji does Terra. Oh. I think this was Amoongus the Water, and I think I know what Zhongji wanted. Yeah. You yeah. Wa yeah, you wanted to go to Terra Water to survive the Acrobatics and then get the Spore off in the Roaring Moon. I know what mm -hmm. Zhongji wanted. Yeah. Now he can't get Flare Blitz, so um, if anything, this kind of works out in the in favor? Maybe? Yeah, we yeah. see the Roaring Moon protect here for, from the incoming Spore from the Amoongus. Lander is also protecting in fear of the uh, spore as well. It's another very, it's another very similar turn to turn yeah. one where just nothing really happened. Well, nothing unless you want to call the roaring moon being scared of a spore. Yeah. Well, I mean, does it protect? So. Yeah. Oh, I don't want. Oh, and he's gonna go for it. Another oh, that gets the, yeah, No, he, he gets to fake out Amoongus, so he now gets to uh, go for another dragon dance. And unless he switches out into Incineroar, which, you know, I think the, not this turn, but maybe the next turn to mitigate his Dragon Dance, he's going to switch into Incineroar. 
Yeah, and now this land, I have to think this lander switches out because, uh, yes, you have earth power damage on the center. Oh, I mean, you don't have to necessarily switch out now that I think about it. You just like, you, you can turn it like two things. You can either turn A, a uh, knockout into Incineroar, or B, a spore into Roaring Moon. Mm -hmm. And that's basically Anthony's choice to take. It's like, do you want to lose the Incineroar, or do you want to have your Roaring Moon to go to sleep? And oh, oh never mind, it's gonna be Incineroar. He's doing it a lot earlier than I thought. Yeah, because he, Junji is calling every single one of Anthony's. Uh, what are they called? Dragon dances, right? Because it's about to. But at least he's going to be faster. Yeah, right? Incineroar is just going to get the fake out. Unfortunately, we'll take Rocky Helmet damage back because all these Amoongus lately have been Rocky Helmet. Yes. And now Dragon has comes away from this Roaring Moon. I think now it's at plus two speed, but now because the Intimidate back to neutral. Yeah. At least he's faster. He can do some damage. Like all I can think of is maybe no, he can't hurt. There's nothing he can really do to Amoongus. I mean, you get two hit knock. Uh, you could oh. probably get a two hit knockout on it, but once yeah. again, Junji is fake out. Oh yeah, that's right. Junji has fake out again. Yep. So, and then what you call? I'm hoping he goes for the what's it called? Because I just saw him use taunt, so I'm hoping he goes Four? for the center roar. No, oh, oh, rage powder. Uh, whichever. I don't know. No, because um, I just saw that Incineroar is about to do a taunt into a Moongus, so it's going to be in Junchi's favor if he taunts. I mean, maybe fakes out the Incineroar. Yeah, obviously, because it leaves Roaring Moon uh, kind of susceptible once again to the uh, Spore. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah, you. It's just hard here, and yeah, we are going to see Roaring Moon protect. Yeah. All right, what happens? Was he faking out? Where's the <gasps> flare blitz oh, the Roaring Moon? No. And then here's about here comes a taunt, which makes Amoongus a little, you know, not favorable in this matchup. Now he's gonna have to withdraw that Amoongus if he wants to. Unless that Pollen comes out for Amoongus, so it does go for the Pollen Oh my gosh! And it does almost nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was he it was a good call, but right as, as of this point, there's really no point in keeping Amoongus on the field. I mean, to be fair, now Amoongus is a minus one special attack. Oh my gosh, that's right, that's right. Wait, why was it a oh, party shot? Party shot. Oh yeah. Lucas is gonna have to come back. Yeah, yeah. it's in a coming back as well. Oh. Obviously, this is not a time to go for parting shot mm -hmm. right now if you're Anthony, because the damage control is pretty much in your favor. Mm -hmm. Amoongus comes back in for Anthony. We are going to see Rory Moon just go for oh, the yeah, acrobatics. For acrobatics. At neutral. This is into the Incineroar. There's oh, over half damage. Is and it's going to proc that It is going to proc that Citrus Berry, too. Yeah, another, an, if he fires off another, another one of those acrobatics is going to knock it out. And Flare Blitz goes into this Roaring Moon. It is uncontested at neutral attack. That is a good amount of damage, it's but it's not anywhere near a knockout. No. Do we see a Spore, though? No, we see Palm Buff healing up the Incinor War. Yeah, so I don't think... At this point, it doesn't look like, even if he does another Acrobatics, it's going to knock him out unless he does... I mean, yeah, I don't know. What's gonna happen? Like I would think he, I would think just you know the Pollen Puff does some decent damage into the um, into Incineroar, maybe doubling into it, but would probably have been in his favor. But or he's gonna spore the Amoongus. We're gonna go for some spores here. Oh yeah, you can spore the Amoongus and from, from Zhongji, and then you don't really have a lot of switches from Zhongji from Zhongji's end, and all Zhongji's really sent out is his Incineroar and the uh, Landers we have earlier, and. Uh, as we see, Zhongji's just taking his time healing his Pokemon and getting into position, and so far he's... N I don't think this position... I don't think this position is favorable for him. No, 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 no. There, this is, this is a lot of very aggressive switch outs, and like they're both reading each other's positioning. Oh, Dragon Dance comes in with that Rage Powder support. Yes. That means this Roaring Moves attack will be able to stick, but that's a big sign for Flare Blitz if he does go for it. Oh, oh that's a big Flare Blitz. Oh, here comes a Flare Blitz into... Oh, that's, that's not enough for a and knockout. And he gets the Rocky Helmet chip. Rocky Helmet and the Flare Blitz recoil. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Another um, Acrobatics is absolutely going to be the end. Oh, and that was a Center that was a very detrimental uh, Pollen Puff because of... I, that Pollen Puff is going for the Incineroar because, yeah, you, you probably are going to be Pollen Puffing your own Incineroar to count for the Rocky Helmet and the Flare Blitz mm -hmm. Recall, but because of the Rage Powder, because you're a Water Type, you don't even get to heal your own Incineroar. No, you don't. It, we'll see what's going to happen now. And uh, um, Anthony, we just saw he's going to do a switch out into his own Incineroar to make sure that whatever damage it does next doesn't do much. I mean, unless a critical hits the and Incineroar. Unless another crit, because that's what's going on today here at Superb Owl Sunday. Everybody just gets crits. Like, you know, like nothing. Yeah, and more importantly, they did this uh, swap out from this Amoongus. The regenerator is going to heal up its uh, HP pretty high, and that gives it the longevity that oh, a lot of players right. need. That's right, the regenerator. Y'all, I'm still learning. It's so it's. Rory Moon with the acrobatics, that plus the one. Acrobatics, that plus one, and who's he going into? Amoongus! Amoongus, and it's Not almost. Enough. Oh! 
Oh no, he missed it by a. Like, and a knockout comes on into the center board, and safety goggles is now gone. Oh no, then that, is he gonna do the sport? Does he does the sport? Oh, oh here no! Oh, great call by Junchi. Oh, oh no. no. The safety goggles is all is anywhere needed to That's dodge that spore, but now that it's knocked off, it's gone. And Roaring Moon, while yes, you can knock out either one of these Pokemon, whichever you desire, you you either risk one th couple things. You either risk Roaring Moon going to sleep, or you risk Roaring Moon getting knocked out. Yeah, no, it's gonna, you have to get rid of, you have to get rid of that Among Us. That thing is just a little dangerous right now. Yeah, or, or, or Zonji's or gonna do it for him. Oh, yeah. Oh no. Yeah, we already see Acrobatics coming here. This will finish out the Amoongus. This probably means it is gonna be a one on one trade between the Roaring Moon and the Amoongus. Yeah, but at least, yeah, the, we, we're now here. The rest of the game we're gonna see in the t it's gonna be a terrorless game, and everybody's just relying on whatever they have. Well, Andy does have a pretty healthy Amoongus in the back, so uh, there's that you can switch into and potentially. Uh, Damage control with the mm -hmm. um, with the, um, the Incineroar being intimidated like once or twice. Yeah. Zhongxi still has a Landers in the back. Mind that. He does. And but judging by the rest of uh, Andy's team, that was probably his best answer to the Landers. It's their Earth power. And uh, oh no, that rest of the team does not look oh good in the no, Landers. It does not look good. Not a rage. Ooh, excuse me. Not a raging bolt in the Landers. That is not in the Landers. I actually don't really want to see that. I mean, it is holding an assault vest, which means it should be able to survive one hit. But I don't know if it could take two. I don't think uh, something. Watch. That's what's going to happen. It's going to earth power, and then it's going to get crit. That's that's that just that's just oh a snarl. I mean, we. I mean, typically most raging bolts with that assault vest are calc to live at least one earth power from the sheer force power to life orb. Stab uh, Earth Power, mm -hmm. which should give it enough time to get the stall that it needs to, you know, at least control the damage from Landers. But the problem for Anthony becomes is just like this Raging Bolt is your last remaining point of damage because Incineroar, while it does good damage to most of Zhongxi's team, he's just losing more damage by per knockout. I mean, losing the Roaring Moon was big, and mm -hmm. if you lose Raging Bolt, that's like a lot of your damage done. Yeah, that's the. Oh, God, they're both. They, no, I think... Oh, no, we already know all everybody's Pokemon. No, we don't. We still don't... You, we still we haven't seen Junchi's third Pokemon. No, we haven't seen Junchi's last Pokemon. Yet. Yeah, fourth. Yes. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we see Among Us come back here. A little bit healthier from last time. Oh, oh Earth Power was Earth going power, to the Incineroar. Not enough. Oh, not enough. Not enough. And here's the Thunderbolt into, into this Incineroar. And it is not enough. not enough either. And, and here comes the knockoff. And that's the Assault Vest Oh, going. no, and the Earth Power is about to... Is the Earth Power about to do some major damage? Oh, no, he already did it. Never mind. Oof. Air power is now threatening the Raging Bolt for the knockout, yeah, though. Yeah, absolutely. And even if it's in switch is in, that's still a knockout. Yeah. This is not. Zhongxi is in full control of this battle now thanks to the speed. Yeah. Like, all he needs. He can pretty much just. Sen he can probably just sense your storm and. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Oh, he does not have it. Substitute. Okay. It's just Earth power. It's just Earth power. Earth power Flare Blitz is just pick up the rest of his team. Yeah, pretty much. Zhongxi is in great position to go ahead and go back into the, in the grand finals. Yeah. I, it's probably, I don't know, I'm not going to say it's over. But I mean, it, lo it looks over because it, Anthony's it, not in a good speed advantage. No. Unless, like, maybe you thunderclap the Incineroar and try to get a Spore on this land. But what if it does Parting Shot? Oh, Rage Putter. Okay, so he's going to make get at least one, He's going to make sure at least... At least if that Raging Bolt survives. Yeah, Earth Power. Yeah, that's fine. There goes Amoongus. GG's Amoongus. Um, what but um, all I can think of is, are you gonna do a Draco Meteor into Landorus? Because that's the only no, Snarl. Snarl. It, it, okay. That, that's okay that's damage to Landorus, yeah. and you most importantly get that special attack drop. Yeah. But what do we have left? In it's just Incineroar, and it's Roy, uh, taking a turn of sleep for oh, Anthony. Oh no. And Zhongxi's last one. Oh, it's Urshifu Rapid Strike! Oh no. Well, that can easily be Thunder. What does he Yeah, it's Choice Scarf. because it's it's Thunderclap. Oh yeah, Thunderclap is in a. Well, do, is, it, is the Thunderclap enough to take out an Incineroar? Urshifu, it should be able to. It should be able to, but... I, I, I guess it's just like Zhongxi's Landers versus the world if it is Thunderclap going to Urshifu, because like, if you don't Thunderclap Urshifu, you risk it being fainted through Incineroar, and that means Landers to just mm -hmm. Earth Power to win the game. Incineroar uh, tries to fake needed, out. He needed that. He really needed that fake out to go Landers. Yeah, that's unfortunate. The second turn of sleep. That's no oh, Thunderclap! No, that's not Thunder... No, he's, he was going to do Draco Meteor into... Um, so he needs, he needs to hope that he survives his earth power. Yeah, absolutely. No, if this is Draco Meteor, I don't think this knocks out. Because it's that minus two special attack with the Thunderclap oh, later it on. it is? 
Oh, snap. Earth power oh, comes no. out. It's, is it his raging bolt? Is it enough? It's, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough. But it, Draco hits the lander at the very least. And it's enough to knock it out. So now it's what? Two, is it still 2v1? It's 1v1. 1v1. Okay. But here's the but problem. Here's You're the minus problem. Two, special, minus two special attack with the thunderclap. That's yeah. why I was saying you got the thunderclap first. Mm -mm. And uh, now Anthony's probably going to be losing this game because of the thunderclap. The crit. Unless he gets no, it. Yeah, I didn't think it's, so. It's GG's. That's it. This is Junji. Yeah. Junji's going to go ahead and go to grand finals with a 2-1 victory against Anthony de Placencia. That was so close. GG's. Y'all, sorry about the clapping noise. So... Don't no. worry, everyone in the crowd, everyone in the crowd's clapping. Don't worry, we all had a great <sighs> show. Oh my god! Yeah. I tell you, if 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 Anthony went for a thunderclap and knocks out Urshifu, I think Anthony goes into the grand finals. Yeah, pretty much. But it's it's all good. Anthony played very well. He got into the semifinals of today's superb Owl Sunday match. So, um, GGs again. GGs to both of our opponents. Yeah, thank you for everyone who are watching that impressive top four matchup, and uh, we'll be right back. We're top cut right at the top. short break, and I will no, like the, to... Isn't the finals? Yeah, we're going straight into it.